Google Scholar also has another important feature called My Citations, which allows you to track your own citations for all the different articles that you've had published. To get to there, you just click on My Citations from the top of Google Scholar. As you can see, this is my profile. Uh, I have a photo, my name, where and where I work and what I do, interests, and I verified my email and a home page if individuals wanted to uh, find my profile. My profile is public, so I let people see you know what and how many times I've been cited. Right now, I have uh, two articles. Uh, one is my dissertation, but another article that I've included in my citations. Uh, it shows that it's been cited eight times. And if I select that, it will show which articles uh, have cited that our particular article. But probably the most important thing is being able to add articles to this. So at the bottom, or actually at the top, it doesn't matter, of your selected citations, you have the ability to add or uh, export or merge articles and in this case we're just going to add. So I have some article, other additional articles out there so I'm going to look for um, my name Stanley Scrabbit and do a search for articles. And I have some articles that are listed. To add these I would just simply click on add article to the ones that I wish to include and I don't believe there's any others uh, listed here. So um, three particular articles that I'm going to uh, include in this list. And I don't see any additional. So when I go back to my citations, now those articles are listed. And, and in fact, one of them um, was uh, has two citations so it's picked up. Uh, some of these articles are actually just uh, articles that I wrote for classes, put on my web page, but I was surprised one day to find out that they were being cited so uh, I'm just uh, including them here. If I select on this particular one I can go ahead and edit it and that way I can um, kind of sort out more properly how the name should be listed uh, for this particular article. And I can later go f find what the, the publication date was. Um, I believe it was 2008 uh, for this article. So I'll just update that and I'll come back to it and, and tidy it up. And so now I save this and I can go back to my citations and things are uh, a little clear. There is a, an asterisk next to uh, this particular article and that that basically said may include citations to different articles uh, and what what had happened is this particular article was picked up I believe in a Chinese uh, paper and referenced and they had my name um, you know switched around so this is, um, and I'll, I'll go up and update these, but this is how you would get, um, you know, somebody listed in, in this um, article. And in the case of, you know, published article, I have Dr. Craig Shepard. Uh, he is a co-author and I can have him listed, you know, as a co-author. So I just put his name and email, invite uh, inviting that co-author um, if they wanted uh, to be listed. Uh, he accepted so by selecting his name we can now see what articles um, he has um, posted and how his citations are going through you know over time. So this is my citations and this allows you to uh, kind of keep track of, of how well you're doing as far as publications if uh, individuals like what you're writing and are citing you, that way you can um, have that entered. 
that is uh, basically the idea of my citation being able to to see how your you know how your different articles are going and who's citing them and how they're citing them uh, how many times they're citing them so um, that is my citation